Hey guys, welcome back. If you're keeping your items in multiple locations in your warehouse, today's video is gonna help you out by making your picking more efficient with one little tweak to the location directive. So stay tuned. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at what happens if you have one location directive defined and you've got your items in multiple locations or what can happen. If you have everything stored in a single location, it's probably not gonna affect you or this, this tip's not gonna help you out that much. But if you're ever dealing with a situation where you have multiple locations and you have the same item in multiple locations and you only have one location directive, I think this is gonna help you out. So let's take a look at the setup on this first, or actually not the setup, let's take a look at the example of where the problem lies first. All right, for this scenario, let's take a look at our on-hand inventory. So we've got uh, this item in, three picking locations that we're gonna, gonna be able to pick from. So we've got it in Z pick, we've got it in Z pick two and Z pick three. So we basically have two and two in the uh, first two locations and then we have 493 in the third location, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at what our location directives look like. So we just have this uh, 24 SO pick location directive. The first uh, rule here is for a pallet, but we're gonna do each is, so we're gonna look at this one. And so basically it's looking at, uh, if we go into the edit query here, I've got a location profile ID set for not LP, which all those three locations are set for not LP, right? And then it's also gonna allow the split there, okay? So if we go ahead and look at our sales order, I've got an item on here and I've got uh, one item here and it's a quantity of six, okay? So let's go ahead and release that to warehouse. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the work. So if I go and look in the work here, so I've got three three separate works. One of it's going to pick two from the Z pick location, then it's picking two from the Z pick two location, and then it's going to pick the other two from the Z pick three location. So basically, what we're having to do in this scenario, the the warehouse pickers having to go through go to three different uh, locations. So if we look back at our on hand, we'll see that you know it's picking from the two from the first location, two from the second location, and then two from the third location because it's splitting it up. Okay, you can see where the problem lies. So you're gonna be sending the warehouse worker all over the warehouse if you have these items in multiple locations. Now the locations may be right next to each other, so if they are, it's probably not that big a deal. But if it is stored in multiple locations all over the warehouse, you can end up with a scenario where the warehouse worker is going from aisle, different aisles or different sections of the warehouse to pick this work. All right, so let's take a look at just one little tweak that you can add to the location directives uh, to fix this problem. All right, so I've reset us back to the same spot we were at. So I've, I've got my um, Z pick locations got two, my Z pick two locations got two, and my Z pick three locations got uh, 493. So I want to go to the location directives now and show you just one little tweak that we can do to basically have it pick the full first rather than picking splitting it up. So all we're going to do is we're going to we're going to utilize the copy uh, feature here, and we're going to copy and create a new uh, location directive. So I'm gonna call this 24 SO pick full. It's just gonna make an exact copy of that. And then it also, it creates it at the bottom and I've got a lot of location directives. So I'm gonna move that up here. All right, so I've got it up at the top. So now it's important that, that the full be above the uh, the regular pick here, okay? So remember, right now they're exact copies of each other. So the only change that I'm gonna make here is I'm gonna, on the one that's pick full, I'm gonna uncheck the allow split box, right? So what, what the effect of this is gonna be, it's gonna try this location directive first, and if it can find a full amount anywhere in my rules, it's gonna, it's gonna go ahead and grab that, and the lo this location directive will pass, it'll stop and uh, create the work. If for whatever reason it can't find a full uh, amount in a location based on my rules, the locate this location direct will fail, and then it'll go to the second one here that's going to allow the split. So it's going to allow the the uh, split on the uh, on the uh, between the locations, and uh, based on our data now, it it will pick it up. All right, so let's go ahead and release a sales order based on that one now. So what I've done, if I go back over here to my sales order, I've created a new sales order just so it'll be clean. And we have our item Z0001 again for six. And we'll go ahead and release this item, this uh, sales order. 
All right. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the work now. So if we go into the warehouse module, warehouse menu here and go to the work, we'll take. So now we have one work. It's picking the total quantity from the ZPIC 3 location. Okay, so hopefully you can see how that can make the warehouse worker more efficient. So let's think about other places that we might could use this. So think about uh, transfer issues. So you have the same thing when you release transfer orders. Also replenishments. So if you're doing um, on-demand replenishments, where it's generating work for replenishment work, or wave demand, I should say, replenishments, where it's um, generating replenishments when the wave is released, um, you know, you could run into the same scenario. So just by simply adding that one location directive rule in there, it will, it's going to make the uh, warehouse worker much more efficient. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. And I put out a new video every Tuesday, so feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I release a new video. And until next time, thanks for watching.